guess what, the friends? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make three 10 minute air fryer breakfast for easy weight loss. And even more, guess what? These are all, these are all gonna be so tasty, it's gonna feel like you're eating dessert for breakfast. And this is what we're making. Cinnamon sugar French toast sticks, peanut butter banana baked oatmeal, and PB&J French toast bake. Woo! We're gonna start with the French toast sticks, and this is what you need. Two slices of whole wheat bread that have been sliced into six sticks, and this is the bread that I'm using. It's um, from Costco, 100% whole wheat Dempsters, and I used a pizza cutter to slice them. We need two large eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla, a tablespoon of non-dairy milk. I'm using this one. It's the Kirkland almond vanilla flavor, unsweetened. Two tablespoons of low calorie, low sugar syrup. I'm using the Steve's Maples, and this is for dipping your French toast sticks in after. We need a tablespoon of protein powder. Any flavor, but I think that Luckier Marshmallow is gonna taste the best. This is Hoodalt, I call it Hoodalt. It's HTLT Seps Luckier Marshmallow Protein. I am sponsored by this company. Link will be down below. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10%. And this is like my favorite flavor, so I'm using that. We need a teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of low calorie sweetener. I'm using the one from Walmart, the great value. We also need a tablespoon of low calorie sweetener mixed with half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And that's gonna be for, that's our cinnamon sugar mixture that we're gonna be rolling the cinnamon sticks or the sticks in after they're baked or air fried. And if you would like a little bit of sugar-free powdered sugar, this is the Truvia one, just for sprinkling over top once they're baked. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pour everything in here the milk, the vanilla, and the friends, while I'm getting this together, why I'm making this video is because I've lost 130 pounds and I've officially kept it off for eight years now. During my journey, I learned that eating breakfast was incredibly important because anytime I skipped it, I would by the end of the day be so hungry, I'd end up overeating and go way off track. So having quick, tasty, easy to prep breakfasts like these really helped set me up for success and keep me on track because I looked forward to what I was eating and I could put a really tasty breakfast together with very little effort and very little time too. These are very quick and they're very tasty. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I was able to get the weight off and keep it off for so long. So now we have our liquid in there. We're gonna put the protein powder, the cinnamon, and the sweetener in there. And I'm just gonna whisk this all together. And that's gonna be our egg mixture. Then while um, I'm gonna mix this until it's really well combined, and then I'm gonna preheat the air fryer to 390 degrees. This is gonna be very thick and that's normal. The protein powder makes it a bit thick, but that makes it really lovely. Okay, I'm gonna turn the air fryer on, turn it to the air fryer setting, 390 degrees. These are only gonna take like four minutes, so I'm gonna put four minutes up and then I'm gonna start the preheat. There we go. Okay, we're gonna let the air fryer heat and then I've got a, some canola oil here in a spritzer bottle. Once the pan is ready, I'm gonna spray a little bit just so these don't stick because protein powder can stick. So just a little bit and then I'm going to coat them and lay them in a single layer. We don't wanna soak these because they'll be soggy. We want them to be crispy like fried cinnamon French toast sticks. Okay, so first I'm just gonna pump this spritzer thingy up. Now, and I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna give the basket a bit of a spritz. Just enough so they don't stick. We're gonna coat these. You just coat them really lovely. You don't want them to soak in there. And you can use tongs. I'm funny, don't watch me, don't do what I do. I'm gonna just plink them in. In a single layer there. Do all of them, and then we'll let them cook for four manitas. There you go, sweetheart. 
Got a little bath of French toast there. One more cutie. And there will be batter left, um, and that's okay, you know, because you don't want to soak them. You want them to be crispy. Maybe your friend will use it. Maybe my friend Seth will use it because he's cute. And now you just shut the lid and let it cook for four minutes, cuties. Here you go. And... Okay, let's take a look. Oh, look Whoa. how cute they are. Okay, so we're going to just remove one here. And I'm going to run it in the sh cinnamon sugar mix just like that. Coat it up. I'm going to put them on a plate right now and then I'll arrange them cute after. That looks so good. Okay, now we'll arrange them on the plate. And of course, you know, if you watch me before, you know we got to be cute about it, don't we? Yes. So uh, we got to cute this up, buddy. There we go. Put your syrup there and just cute this right up. Whoa, we cuted it up. Okay, now I'm going to dust these with a little bit of the sugar-free powdered sugar. You know, not too much, about a quarter of a teaspoon. Just enough to give it that little flavor and just make them cute, you know? Like, oh, there we go. Yeah. All right, so that is breakfast one. And I'm going to give you the calories for this, including the syrup and the powdered sugar. So for this whole plate with everything, toppings included, it's 412 calories, 14 grams of fat, 52 grams of carbs, and 26 grams of protein. So it's quite a great protein filled breakfast that really is gonna keep me full and fuel my cardio, which I'm gonna do next. So I'm gonna do a taste test for you, obviously. So we got a cute little one here, got a little dipper. This is your dipper center there. Mm. Like, mmm. There's so many amazing flavors, like with the syrup and the cinnamon sugar. And um, there's the air fryer gives it like this extra flavor. It really makes you feel like you're eating dessert. And that's really helpful on a weight loss journey. So, I'm gonna eat this and I'll see you in a second for breakfast number two, cutie. Air fryer breakfast numero two, peanut butter and banana baked oatmeal. This is what you're gonna need, cutie. One tablespoon of powdered peanut butter that I've mixed with one tablespoon of water. I'm using the PB and Me. Half a cup of quick oats ground into flour. I'm using the Great Value Quick Oats and I used my coffee grinder, the coffee bean grinder. Just got it from Walmart and it's in actually the grinding cup there. We need a third cup of non-dairy milk, and I'm using the same that I used earlier. This is the Kirkland Almond Unsweetened Vanilla. We need a tablespoon of low-calorie syrup, and that is the same as earlier as well. It's the Steve's Maples, the sugar-free syrup. Half a large banana that has been mashed, half a teaspoon of baking powder, an eighth teaspoon of salt, and a tablespoon of protein powder. This time, to make it extra peanut buttery, I'm using the Hoodle, the HTLT Vanilla Peanut Butter Protein Powder. More protein, more peanut butter. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. That's all going in the baked oatmeal. We also need a, this is a six by six oven proof and air fryer safe container or baking pan that I've sprayed with cooking spray. It needs to be small to fit in the air fryer. And then for toppings, we've got a teaspoon of these. These are the mini Reese's Pieces or like the Reese's Pieces baking bits. One teaspoon of these and then a teaspoon of mini chocolate chips. And I'm using the Hershey's Chippets, the mini semi-sweet ones. And about a teaspoon of a low calorie, no sugar added syrup. I'm using the Smucker's No Sugar Added Caramel Sundae Syrup. So we're going to get the baked oats going. So I'm literally just gonna pop everything except the toppings into this bowl. So that's the oats that have been ground up. This is the protein powder, salt, baking powder. Let's give this a quick mix. Combine, just, you know, till combined. Yeah, that's good. Now we're gonna add in the peanut butter or the PB2 that has been mixed with water. There we go. And then the rest, the banana. There we 
water. This is what I love about oats is they're so versatile, you never get bored. Milk and the syrup. And don't forget the vanilla, cutie bear. And we're gonna stir this all together until it's all cuted up and combined. Okay, I'm now gonna preheat the air fryer to 375 degrees. I have the air fryer basket in there, just so you can see. I'm gonna put the pan right in there. Um, turn it on. Air crisp, that's the air fryer. And I'm gonna do 375, and I'm gonna do it for about five minutes to start. There we go, set it to the preheat. And now I'm gonna put this in the pan. And we were saying off camera, like, this is so easy. And I said, easy as pie. And then we said, wait a minute, easy as baked oats. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we did it off camera, because it wasn't that funny, but then you did it again. That's it's fun. it's great, funny. You do it on camera, they love it. They need it, <laughs> they love it. Okay, so you got it in there, and then I'm going to sprinkle the chips and the baking recess on top, and we're gonna do the syrup once it's done. Oh. So just put this on, make it cute like. There you are. And then you cute this on. Everything's cute. We know this. When we know cool is, that's me, Nicole. We know everything's cute. There, now we wait till it preheats and then put it in here. All right, it's ready to go. I'm gonna put this right into the air fryer like that. And there we go, five minutes. And we'll do a check on it, make sure it's golden and beautiful, and then it will put on the syrup. Okay guys, it is done, it's been five minutes. Here is the truth. Whoa. <gasps> wow, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we'll take our little mitts and we'll pull this out, pop it on there. And then we'll just puff for some old thumbnail action. Mm. All right, now I'm gonna take a whatever this thing is, like a spatula thing, and try to get this out. Come on, cutie. You know, uh oh, come on, Cole, don't wreck it. Come on, there she is. There we go. It works better with our hands. Oh, just pushed it in, pretend it doesn't work. Yeah, I'll edit that out. Yeah, this, you didn't see that, guys. Now I'm gonna put about a teaspoon. I would normally measure it, but to make it cute, I'm just gonna drizzle it. But, you know, about a teaspoon of this on. Ding, ding, oh, ding, yeah. ding, ding. You make it cute, and, whoa, look at that. Can you believe that's breakfast? Isn't that crazy? That looks great. Whoa, that is why you love what you eat and you keep the weight off cooler, that's why, because it's so beautiful. Talk to your food <laughs> and yourself in the third person. <laughs> it's fine, they love it. Okay, <laughs> okay, so I am gonna taste test this for you, but first I'll tell you the calories. So this makes one serving, and for the toppings and everything, it's 349 calories, seven grams of fat, 58 grams of carbs, and 15 grams of protein. And I got big hands, and it's like good size, you know? It's, well, it's a six by six pan, so it's it's quite, you know, big for a personal serving. So, of course, I gotta get a little bit of everything. Oh, yeah, let's show this. A little bit. Oh, yeah. Now, this is what I love. Look, at, it's like gooey inside. I love that, like a brownie that's a little bit gooey on the inside. And it's peanut butter and banana, so my goal is for it to taste like banana bread. Don't burn yourself, that's my goal. I have iron mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Picture banana bread with peanut butter and mini Reese's and chocolate chips in it. It's hold, heaven. Hold on a second, I'm picturing it. Okay, picture it. Oh, it's don't, heaven. Don't you hear it going, oh. Literally, like you would never believe that's baked oats, guys. Well, they would because they just watched the video. That's why his name is Sassy. So the friends, that was breakfast number two. Stay tuned. In one second, we'll see you for breakfast three. Cutie! All right, the friends, breakfast number three. We're making air fryer PB and J French toast bake. Yeah. Yes. So this is what you need. Again, we need that six by six pan that's air fryer safe that has been sprayed with cooking spray. Two slices of whole wheat bread. It's the same one I used for the other recipe, the Dempster's whole wheat that has been ripped into pieces. Two large eggs, 
a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of low calorie sweetener, and that's the great value that I've been using this whole time, a tablespoon of protein powder, and this time I'm using the Huddled, the HTLT, the strawberry cheesecake, because I think that's really gonna turn it up a notch for the PB and J-ness of this recipe. You can use any flavor. A teaspoon of vanilla, a tablespoon of low calorie jam, and I'm using this one. This is the Dora Strawberry. It's the 25 calorie one. Check your labels if you're getting this one because there is one that's 50. We want the 25 cal. And if you can't find the exact stuff we have and you want to make the recipe, just find the closest one possible. I'll add in one thing. Mm -hmm. I have more eggs in when I make this recipe, so I use like a, a loaf pan, a mini like one you'd use for banana bread instead of this one. Yeah, as long as it's And I um, stick it in there if it fits, it fits. Yeah, actually, Sassy makes his own, like he said. Anything mini and air fryer safe, that's what we use. And then we need a tablespoon of powdered peanut butter. Again, I use the PB and Me because that's what we have available to us. Mixed with a tablespoon of water. And then optional, but I'm gonna use again to top it when it's cooked, some of the sugar-free powdered sugar, but a quarter teaspoon, and this is the Truvia I'm using. So basically, I'm just going to put everything in here except for the bread and the jam. And the syrup, And the right? syrup, yeah. So this is the syrup. Yeah, that's the syrup for topping. And how much Two syrup? tablespoons of low calorie syrup, and that's the Steve's Maples. So we've got the vanilla and the eggs in the bowl. I'm gonna put the protein powder, the cinnamon, and the sweetener, and then the PB2 here, and then we're just going to mix this all together, and it's gonna make like a thick little coating for the bread. Okay, now that it's all mixed up, I'm gonna put my bread in there, and I'm just going to mix it all together, coat the bread, all up, make sure it's all coated really well. And then I'm gonna put it in my pan. And we're just gonna dump it all into the greased pan here. And I'm gonna spread it out. And then it's gonna bake up real cute. So I'm gonna preheat my fryer, but first wash these cute hands. Okay, I'm gonna preheat the air fryer to 390, so I'm putting it on the air crisp. And then this is gonna take about six minutes, so I'm gonna put six minutes up here. And while the fryer preheats, I'm gonna put my jam on top, and I'll show you that. So I'm just gonna take my jam. I have spread this out a bit more even, and then I'm just gonna put little dots of jam all the way through so that it kind of bakes in and it's like a you know peanut butter and jam sandwich sort of thing it's really cute oh, you'll like it <laughs> <laughs> okay the air fryer is preheated i'm gonna pop my pan right in there and i'm gonna leave it for the six minutes and we'll take a little peek rooney when it's done all right let's see what does she look like <gasps> she's oh. beautiful Okay, <laughs> I'll take it out now. <laughs> we'll put it right there. I love that it expands in when it's cooking. And um, so it looks beautiful. What we're gonna do is uh, thumbnail action and then I'll top it and show you what it tastes like. Actually, do you wanna top it with the, um, what's this called again? The powdered sugar? Yeah, now, because I think we'll yeah. do the thumbnail action with the powdered sugar. Oh, that's good. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna thumbnail it like this. A little bit of powdered cube. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get this out the pan without the, any trouble. Okay, we got a little bit of cube here. Come on, little one. Oh, look at that. Yes, you love it. Yeah. Wow, it just came out so cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna top it with the two tablespoons of syrup. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. This is gonna be the beautifulest. Mm. Wow, that looks lovely. Okay, so this makes one serving, one French toast bake, and the calories are 420 calories, 13 grams of fat, 
44 grams of carbs and 28 grams of protein. So again, a beautiful high protein, tasty breakfast. And it's a huge one serving too. It is, it keeps me full for quite a long time, especially with like the whole wheat bread and the eggs and all the protein in there. The healthy fats. Yeah, it's got a real good balance. So let's try it all, syrup and the sugar and the jammy. The cool thing with the air fryer, you get that crust on the outside. Mm. It's like, it kind of tastes like a loaf or a cake. Oh, it's like desserting um, for breakfast. So the friends, this is what we learn. Sassy's lost the same amount of weight, kept it off for the same amount of years. You got, for us, we have to eat breakfast. We got to love it and it's got to be easy to do. And these three breakfasts do all of that. If you want to know more, of what I ate to lose the weight and keep it off. I got weight loss guides and a guilt-free cookbook. Links are all down below. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10%. And of course, the HTLT SUPS link is down there as well. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10% if you want to use the same proteins that I did. I hope you enjoyed this vid. I hope you love it. Don't forget, subscribe if you didn't because you don't want to miss this. <laughs> and don't forget to watch more of our vids for fun weight loss tips and you can just go mm -hmm, and be cute like you know and I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace cuties. See ya. Yeah. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.